golf ball is struck and leaves the ground at 48 meters per second on a 60 degree angle, how long will it be in the air before bouncing? First, we list the information as given by the question. Here, we can see the information in the given box is color correspondent to the information given by the question. From the diagram, we see that we have to find out the vertical velocity of the ball, as we will be using it to calculate the time the ball is in the air. Since we want to find the vertical velocity, which is the opposite, as seen in the diagram, we will use the equation sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. To do this, we isolate the variable by multiplying both sides of the equation by hypotenuse. Doing this causes us to cancel out the variables as such, leaving us with the equation opposite equals sine theta times hypotenuse. Next, we plug in the numbers that were given, giving us a vertical velocity of 41.569 meters per second. Since we now have the vertical velocity, we can use it to find the time the ball is in the air. To do this, we will use the third kinematic equation. We can immediately plug in zero as the vertical distance since the ball starts and ends at the same height. We then begin to isolate time by subtracting Vt from both sides. The Vt on the right side cancels each other out, and we are left with negative Vt equals 1 half At squared. Then we divide both sides by 1 half At, and we will cancel out the variables as such. This leaves us with T equals to negative V divided by 1 half A. Next, we plug in our numbers and solve for t, which will give us 8.483 seconds. Looking at the question again, we see that the info given only contains two significant figures each. This causes our final answer to equal 8.5 seconds, as it should also contain two significant figures. Lastly, we do a quick unit check to see if our answer is in the right form.